What's all the fancy icons? And stuff? My fitness tracker app and stuff. Your fitness tracker app? Yeah. I'll do all my steps. I did I did 12, 12 steps, 12,000 steps <laughs> and 9 kilometres yesterday. I went for a big walk last night. Good on you, mate. Yeah. You lost a bit of weight too, I must yeah. say. Thanks. Hey, we're back. We're back. So, in case you haven't watched this channel before, I'm Andrew, this is Enzo, and we are Home Theatre Engineering. So, I think everybody knows that one of our favourite go-to products for high-end cinema is the Trinoff, right? Correct. The Altitude yep, 16. That's our weapon of choice. Yeah. Um, what's, there's not much wrong with it, but what's the major catch with the Trinoff? I think obviously the Trinov is just now that ma ma major market share mm. and the, the thing everyone knows is just how it does the, the um, processing and the room correction. Um, it is just, it, there's nothing on the market that touches it. No. The, it's the, impressive. The, the only rub with the Trinov is of course. It's, uh, yeah, in Australia it's uh, $24,000 mm. uh, plus the microphone. Um, so, you know, it is pricey, it's not for everybody. Um, Having said so that, it sits on its own, doesn't it? It like, does. You know, yeah. we've looked at a whole lot of other products and there's just nothing that can do what a turn-off can do. So there's, mm. there's nothing that analyzes a room the way it does, there's nothing that knows where the speakers are. But the question is, if, if it doesn't fit your budget, what else is out there? Where do you go from yeah. there? So we've had our eye on a product for a long time and we've sort of been waiting and watching and sort of ready to pounce, you might say. Hmm. And uh, finally, it's here. So there's been a bit of a shake up with uh, what this is. This is a product which is called Acurus or Acurus as some people have been calling it. Put those down before you hurt okay. yourself. Um, so made by um, uh, a company in the US. Uh, indie, um, indie, indie Audio Labs. Indie Audio Labs, yep. yeah, yeah. Um, and basically, uh, you know, they've been doing it for a, 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 quite, a, quite a while now, but, you know, in Australia it was quite new, a change of distributorship has happened, uh, and now the product's been refined a little bit. A lot, um, of, a lot of product improvements. Yeah, changes. product improvement and, and bits and bobs. So, you know, now it's time for us to have a look at it. Um, we, we have been getting a lot of questions about you know, if I can't afford a Trinov, what's the next best option? And we think that this may be the next best option, uh, you know, if you don't have that type of money to spend on processor. And so this is the Acurus Muse. Muse, yep. So and it's price point in Australia? This retails in Australia at the moment, well it was, uh, 11999 I believe there may be some price revision. Uh, you know, we'll see where that sits, but at this point in time, it, it is 11 triple nine. Um, so it's still not cheap. Obviously, there's a lot of cheap processors <laughs> out there between, don't you love a box within a box? Um, there's a lot of cheap processors out there between, you know, the $5,000 mark and, and the $10,000 mark. Okay, you go. that one. <laughs> But, you know, again, uh, what was really appealing about the uh, Acurus um, was the fact that it's pure processor. So, there's the box. I'll move these straps. <laughs> right. By the way, I must say, it's great to be back on YouTube with Enzo. Yeah, um, I've, been, I've been away. I've been a little bit crook. Boy, a lot's happened though, isn't it? A lot's I happened. Mean, well, you probably the last video did we did was first of December for yeah. when we had our VIP night. Um, I've so been in overseas. Well, Australia can has made it relaxed, overseas. Right? Well, it's still overseas, <laughs> isn't it? It's over the water. It's over yeah. the water. It's overseas. Yep. It's the sea. I do have their own flag. Yeah, yeah. Um, installing a cinema over there that went really, really well. Um, we're very pleased with that. But then our premier decided to shut borders again, and Andrew had to. Uh, the day, two days before he got back, borders got shut. He had to quarantine for 14 days alone over Christmas and I New Year. I quarantined in my house on my own over Christmas and New Year. It was the <laughs> best Christmas he ever had. <laughs> don't tell my family. The best uh, Christmas he ever had. But uh, don't worry, I sorted him out with a lot of chocolate and biscuits and he's put on a few kilos, but that's all right. Um, transference of weight, that was. Transference of weight. Um, but yeah, look, um, the thing that was appealing about this and getting back to what I said before is that it is a pure processor. So it doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles and, and I'm okay with that uh, because it does get installed in uh, dedicated cinemas most of the time. So book, book. At least it's a nice one. Mm. Color, nice. At least you don't have to look for it online. So yeah, nice book. 
with your warranty card. It is a five year warranty. It is made in the US of A, and it does come with an Australian plug. Look at that. That is so cool. You would not believe the amount, being in Australia, the amount of product we get that arrives mm. with US plugs, and you know what? We throw them all in the bin and we hate that. It's a waste. We should just kind of box them up and send them to somewhere in America. It's nice, this one, actually. It's not a cheapie. No, it's, it's a good one. Yep. Um, and the box. There's the plug. It's a nice box. Oh, there's another box. There's mm. another box. Tetra cable. Oh, this is the... Okay. We need to explain this. This is a Tetra cable. Um, I'm going to take it out of the box. I used to love playing Tetris. Um, we've actually got something like this on our Trinov Altitude 32 as well. Yep. It's like a breakout cable. So, because this is actually a small unit, when, you, when we get out of the box you'll see. So it's got uh, 12 um, XLR outputs. So to get to your remaining four, Tetra cable goes in and there's your other XLR output. So that's your, and, and they're nicely labeled and numbered and everything. There you nice. go. Well, I'll keep that over and here. God, it's just an endless supply of... And then... Do you need a hand? Yeah, I think so. Or a shoehorn or something? I'll take it that's the remote. I can't. <laughs> Why can't I get this out? Okay, got it. Back to college for me, right? Okay. Not I heard you're not good with boxes. I'm not trusting him. He can't even open a cardboard box. And it's got a nice remote. Here's the interesting thing. It's a Logitech remote. It's branded Logitech. So they've actually, um, I assume what they've probably done is pre-programmed this remote. But um, it's got uh, a screen on it so you can see what you're doing. We haven't fired it up. Um, it may be... An actually. interesting question that we may have to ask the guys at uh, Acurus. Yeah. Logitech don't make remotes anymore. So, <laughs> so what happens now? Yeah, so it'll be interesting <laughs> to see where it goes from there. They uh, might be being made just for them, maybe. Now, speaking of control, um, Obviously, when we build cinemas, all of our cinemas are built with some sort of control system, and currently the flavour of the month for us is Control 4. Um, we do a lot of Control 4. So we do a lot of Control 4. However, there are a lot of other options now. Uh, this works with Questron, Questron um, Savant, Savant um, obviously Control 4, Control 4 Logitech, uh, RTI, RTI um, um, Elan, Elan, and, yeah, and so, so on. They've, they've uh, provided drivers for hmm. most of the predominant control systems, which is nice. Cool. What do we got? Little little screen. If any devices are still on, press help now. Okay. Too easy. We'll look at that. Where in a second. Right, so here we go. Oh, Let's go again. Uh, lift this up. Box in a box. Why am I doing this? I don't know. You're the, you're the short one. There you go. Look how easy that was. <laughs> Enzo the crane. I'm a normal height, by the way. Just He's he's the weird one. Am I? Yeah. It's a nice slimline 2RU. It's only 2RU. Now, yeah. this is really cool if you've got, uh, you know, shortage of space. And also, it means that there's more cooling space around it when you put it into, you know, a, a, an area that is perhaps a little restricted. Very well built. Yep. Very solid. It looks like a, it's got the same type of look and feel as an Oppo. Yep. There Actually you go. It does, yeah. Yeah. It's got that kind of um, finish. It looks like a, it's the That's same it. same uh, same type of finish. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Cool. Okay. So, What's on the back, Andrew? Right, let's, have, let's turn it around and give you guys a view of the back. We'll, we'll put some close-ups in here as well, of course. So, here you go, that's the back side. So it's um, got a beautiful 5-inch uh, touchscreen display by the looks of it. Yeah, okay, let's, so let's talk about that for a second, because th th that's kind of interesting in the sense that... Um, have a look underneath, there you go, and of course... What the oh, heck was that? breaking my cabinet. Something just flew off the back. Oh, I know what that was. Optical plug. Um, and there's the front with the mm. touch screen. Um, here's the thing. Um, and I think this comes down to the nuts and bolts of the Acurus. This thing is designed to do one thing, make great sound. It's not an amplifier, it's just a processor. It doesn't have the bells and whistles, so there's no airplay, none of that stuff. This, yep, it, it's simply uh, HDMI signal in. There is um, 11. We've got some two channel RCAs and some optical inputs, um, but it has all of the bells and whistles that we need for a cinema. So obviously it's got Dolby Atmos, it's yep. got DTSX, there's an upgrade coming... DTSX this Pro, year, DTSX and, Pro and, and IMAX, IMAX Enhanced. Enhanced. Yep. Um, yep. But... Um, the calibration is going to be interesting. That's going to, We'll talk about yep. that shortly. The user interface as such is all done off the front panel, and we'll show you some photos of that. Um, this is what it looks like. 
the whole thing's driven from there and uh, it's really, really easy to use. The beauty of that is there's no extraneous electronics in here. There's no fancy stuff that um, can either cause interference or problems. Uh, it is just a processor and to all accounts, and we will be testing this because we're going to put this in our second room, in our room, room. two. Yep. Um, uh, Hold on, that means though, that means that because of that, that's probably a good thing. It's got a pros and cons. So the good thing is you don't have to worry about your laptop crashing <laughs> when you're doing, because a lot of products we've used, whether it's, <sighs> let's not name them, but a lot of processors, different brands that have web interfaces crash mm. and then you have to start from scratch. I can't count the number of times that I've been out yeah. there calibrating other brands. Oh, look, I mean, I think everybody knows, you know, it, whether it's, um, I'm going to mention the names, whether it's Dirac or whether it's um, Arc Genesis. Arc Genesis. Or, yeah. The number of times I've worked on a job, running around a room, moving my microphone, and yes, there's new updates have come and it's getting better and mm. better and better. Mm. But running around a room with one microphone takes forever. Like, how many, 13 spots or something? Uh, yeah, it depends yeah. on, on what Which one? option you've selected. Now, so that's cool because basically that's just on, yeah. No mm. laptop required. No laptop required. That's kind of cool. So how do they do that? Um, I'll show you, hang on a sec. This aspect is Aspect, which comes in um, a case that is actually so airtight, I think you could take it scuba diving. I may even I actually it. thought Andrew passed wind before, but he didn't, he opened the case. <laughs> you were so polite, you didn't say that. Now you've mentioned but, it to the whole world. <laughs> but this Aspect is a uh, mic kit for the Acurus, but it is essentially just for dealers. Um, you know, it's not something that the um, someone would buy. So th this is a dedicated system for custom integrators, but it sits at a price point that is much more affordable than something like a Trinov. Um, but what you need um, is uh, to get this properly integrated. So you've got this four microphone system. The system actually tells you exactly where to put these mics in the room and you do that once. What? Is it wireless as well? Yes, it is. So we'll just move this out of the way. So you, and you've got, and the microphones are really good quality. These Man, are- And they're heavy. Yeah, these are, well, in fact, these are the equivalent of a U-Mic 1 or, yep. or an equivalent or of that. Or DSP, yeah. yeah. Yep. So, Interesting. Yep. So just grab that aside. Yep. That aside. Okay. So this is how this works. Here is the module that sits in the room. The microphones plug into this. There's a power pack for it. Oh, this goes into the HDMI. That goes into the HDMI in any of the inputs. That's in, right? that's that's pretty well built. This is too. clever. And then it has an RS232 connection that goes from there into the back of the nice. Acurus here. And then these two talk to each other. And um, this also creates a user interface that pops up on your screen, your projector screen, for example, and shows you what's going on. And that's it. It's, it's, it's really quite amazing. Um, so very, very different kind of, of room EQ. Now, when I calibrate with my HAA sort of audio kit, uh, I use at least four microphones and um, these spatially average the sound. And there's, there's a reason that you want to do that. Um, because it shows you uh, what speakers are doing a little more accurately than what's happening in one location because that one location is influenced by the room. Um, now with Dirac and uh, Genesis and stuff like that, they're doing the similar sort of thing but they have to move the microphone every single time. And the interesting thing is if you actually read um, the instructions, often you're not supposed to move the microphone more than a certain distance away mm. and so on and so forth. This tells you exactly where to put the microphones once, just once, and then you run the system. You can then select a bunch of uh, room curves straight off the system and go, I'll try that one. And, and off she goes. I'm really, really interested to listen to this. We've heard some really great feedback mm. about the sound out of this system. And you know, for anyone who's really serious about um, getting great home theater sound, at about half the price of a Trinov, this is it, there's your microphone cables. And, uh, really impressive, yeah. Re really well built. It's yeah, really yeah. well put together. Yeah, um, I mean you can see with, I mean even at the Australian price of eleven thousand uh, dollars, eleven and a half, twelve thousand mm. uh, dollars, you know it's very well built. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm keen. Uh, I mean a few videos I've watched and a few people I've spoken to have basically replaced their cheaper processor that they had in the room. I there was a couple different ones, and the, the difference was huge in, in relation to the processing power. So we're, we're keen to get this hooked up. So uh, on, on the display on the front, 
what you get is a system, in fact the display on this is kind of reputed to be one of the best in the industry and you can see that all of the configuration, all of the speaker layouts, uh, everything that you need to do is demonstrated on this screen here and it's, you know, as, as the founders of the company say, it's if you can use a, a, an iPhone, you can use this. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm really quite excited about the idea of not being connected to a laptop. The other really mm. cool thing about the aspect equalization, and this is kind of neat, is the unit that you plug into here then um, talks uh, to the internet. They've both got SD cards in them. And this unit then firmware updates the other unit. Right. Um, and you can then also take the SD card out of here and you can download the report that it generates onto your laptop to oh, send to a client or record for the job. It's, it's clever and, and I like the fact that you know mm. they've focused on you know what is this? Well it's an audio processor that's all we're gonna do yep. and, and do it really 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 well. So I mean some yeah. people probably there have been some negative comments about the fact that it doesn't have airplay, it doesn't do Rune but honestly, even speaking to the companies that do high-end processors that have those, mm. they really don't get used by those type of clientels because they're a luxury dedicated cinema. And what's one of the sources that we put on every single job now? Sh Nvidia Shield, Apple, Apple TV. TV. It's uh, all on there. You know, anyway. And you can use that to airplay if you really wanted to. I mean, there's so many ways to skin a cat. You can buy a, a Douglas, we sell the um, Node, uh, the Blue Sound Node. You yep. can plug one of those in. I mean, at the end of the day, um, it, it's... Uh, it's pretty much endless on what you can add to it. Plenty of HDMI's, uh, there's a couple, what else, optical. Um, so technically with the XLRs, it's a 9.1.6 config. Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's correct, yes. Yeah, 9.1.6. Yeah. You know, made in the good old USA, um, you know, five year warranty. Now Fix the, all the boxes. The speaker outlay on this one, or the outputs, are already uh, pre-assigned. Um, there is another model. Um, which is a 20 channel um, and that has a matrix output um, but we think this is the Muse is the one that sort of fills the gap um, and gives you a great option you know at that you know it's something point. different too because at that price point really you, you, your products are only really from the 5 to 10 uh, things like Marantz, mm. Denon, Arcam and Anthem mm. now you know and at the moment due to COVID there's a lot of shortages of everything um, and getting a product that is different, unique, it's and a dedicated, high a dedicated, level high level product. processor. Yep. Um, you know, we've played with most of those. Let's see how this one is yep. going to be good. So what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to go out the back to our room two in in our nice showroom complex here, which we love so much. And I'm going to pull out the existing processor there, and I'm going to put this in. Yep. And then I'm going to run the aspect. Aspect. It's a pretty cool name. And um, we will uh, we'll report back. Report back to you guys. So look, thanks very much. It's great to be back with you guys again. You know, we, we, we're always apologising for not getting videos out, but we're just so damn busy. Um, yeah. But we're excited about this. We think this fills a gap um, where well, we've been. You know, it, it's it's a solution to a problem that's been sort of hanging around for a while. And we certainly hope that, and, and I'm pretty confident that this is going to live up to all the expectations. Well, from everything, all the reviews and all the people we've spoken to that have tested them and used mm. them, they, they all love them. Yep. Uh, and yes, like I said, there are other products cheaper on the market, um, but this does sit in that little void like Andrew's talking mm. about. Maybe it's a good little sister product. So The, the really good see. thing about now having our own uh, dedicated uh, cinemas here um, is that we know how they sound. You know, we, we know what the rooms them. sound like. Um, you know, we've got our big $800,000 premier room here, and then we've got our, um, our room two, which has got the Crix and the Pr Priscilla gear in it. So we know how it sounds. Putting this thing in here is going to tell us straight yeah. away. I think, I think we watched uh, Greatest Showman like a thousand times, yeah. the opening scene. The opening so scene, yes. Yeah, so I think we know that as soon as we put this in, we'll probably, I'm predicting we'll both look at each other and go, wow. Yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm, so, yeah. I'm expecting that. So, cool. All right, Let's folks, thank you very much. Uh, Please like, please subscribe. It's really important to us that, you know, uh, because obviously making YouTube's videos is time consuming. So if we know that you guys are interested, if you, we know that you like to follow our videos, yeah. then that gives us a reason to make more. Yeah, it'll take a good couple of days to do. So yeah. <laughs> yeah Thanks but very much. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Speak soon.